I think H.G. Wells sets the model for what we're currently seeing in the, the push for globalism, uh, United Nations and these things. He is not the originator, but he revolutionized how to do it through this open conspiracy concept where you have um, you have all of these influential politicians, economic, uh, ec economists, business people, financiers, bankers, uh, military people, all these people collaborating or conspiring, as the title you know, suggests, on this project to transform society, to leak it into public policy and change things. Now, where this connects with the new age is that his, his understanding was really um, atheistic, materialistic, policy-based, and based on sort of enlightenment renaissance principles it wasn't new age at all and then aldous huxley uh basically after he writes brave new world as from what i can tell uh goes and joins a new age cult in america he's like in california uh doing drugs and doing psychedelics and, and really Having getting a good into time yeah yeah he's really getting uh, enlightened you could say and um he basically says, okay, there needs to be a spiritual element to all of this. And so between the two of them behind the scenes, as they're influencing very, because they're some of the most well-known intellectuals in the world at that time, they still are today. So that's how you can tell their legacy uh, was because they were so popular. They basically come you combine their views and you have a spiritualized version of the open conspiracy. 